I never lost my title in the ring. I haven't had the chance to defend it. I just want to get out there, get my title back. Rack him up. I'm coming for you, boy. We want you to give him your wisdom and your knowledge and your shield as he enters the ring. As he attempts to become a world champion, oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, there comes a time in a fighter's life when they get the opportunity to change their future in a single night. And that night has arrived here for Joe Cordina. That explosive moment, it was sensational and only special fighters can do that. How do you make him know that you can also hurt him? Because you've got to do something for him to... Oh! One thing becoming world champion. Becoming world champion like that. Hey, oh, what a right hand. There's a shot that me and Tony worked on hours and hours in the gym. Because of the style of the Gawa, when he defended, he, he leaned back on his defence like that, so he showed his stomach. The thing was to do was throw a few jabs into the stomach to pull him back and then put the right hand in when he come back onto it. Oh! It just felt like putting my hand in water, it was that clean. I've looked like that, I've turned and he's down. I've looked at him, his head had bounced. And I just thought, he's finished. Going to the corner, I could see him starting getting up when I started to panic a bit. I don't need to do 12 rounds here. Good night, he was asleep. Changed the landscape of the division, changed Joe Caldina's life. And it was a moment we'll never forget. You can take the credit for it? Nah. This should go around this man. Don't take the credit for none of them, mate. Ain't me in there, is it? I just, I walk, I walk up the steps and back down the steps. Yeah, I was happy. Breaking news today coming out of the world of boxing. Joe Cordina has been stripped of his world title without making a single defence. Joe Cordina was scheduled to defend his belt against Shavkat Rakimov, who's unbeaten in 17 fights on November the 5th, 2022, but was forced to withdraw from the title defence just over a month out because of injury. Yeah, I just don't think it's fair. But yeah, wrongly, I think I was stripped, wrongly. And I think a lot of people would, would say the same, regardless of whatever the IBF is saying. My first week back sparring, I threw my first proper backhand and I just felt something popping in my hand and I was thinking, oh my God. The lady at the x-ray said, listen, Joe, you've, you've, you've got a clean break. I had the operation. Yeah, it was, it was after my surgery that I knew I was getting stripped. Yeah, that wasn't a nice, a nice moment, um, I'm not gonna lie. I was in a bit of a bad place. Uh, I, I didn't really wanna see people. I was stuck in the house for like two weeks. Then I was like, fuck this, I need to get out. The IBF informed Cordina he would be stripped of the belt for withdrawing as the number one contender, Shavkat Rakimov, went on to fight Zelfa Barrett for the title. And now entering the arena, please welcome Shavkat, Shekhan Rakimov. I am Shavkat Rakimov. Seeking to become the first fighter from Tajikistan to win a widely recognized world title. Whoever wins on Saturday, you ain't the real champ. I'm the fucking real champ. Touch claws, good luck to both. Надо было работать, работать, ещё раз работать. И результат всегда будет. It was quite frustrating me being there watching them too. Yeah, it was. Not gonna lie. Эмоции были неописуемые, потому что мне это очень было приятно, что я какую-то историю записал себя. I looked at him, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I said, see that? I'm gonna land that clean on your chin. And I just kept saying, I'm gonna fuck you up. That's all I kept saying. Go on, Eddie. Fucking fair play. You know, and I said, don't worry, you're not going to beat Joe Caldina. Now Joe gets the chance to put it right. In, in my head, that's my belt. I need to get that back. 
защитить свой пояс в первую очередь. Других мыслей нету. I never lost my title in the ring. I haven't had the chance to defend it. See you soon. Yeah. Very soon. See you soon. No problem. Easy. I'm going into this fight, yeah, as a challenger, but in my head I'm a world champion and I got the confidence of a world champion. Do you know, like a week before, you know, I dread this. I wake up every morning knowing I'm one day closer to fucking up. Alright, ready? The triangle is a 0.8 mile run. You got to try and hit between 4 minutes 30, 4 minutes 40. The ones that are getting like four twenties or under, they run it at a really good pace. It's a really, really difficult run. If you're not on the ball, you're getting well left behind. If you don't train, it'll show up in a ring. There was one time I'd done triangle, and it was only me and Ricky Burns doing it. At this time, we, we, the max we'd do was six. And he said, one more. But I was absolutely goosed. And I said, nah, I'm done. And he, he went to do, to do one more. He said to Tony, Tony, tell him. And he was like, nah. He said, I won't tell him. He said, if he wants to do it, he'll do it. If he don't, he don't. He said, but when the bell goes, I jump out the ring. If he ain't fit, he's gonna look silly in the ring. I thought about it and I thought, fuck it, I'll do one more. Come on, come on. big time, Con. 419 under the 420, Con of Ben. Go on, Joseph. Come on, Joe. Good time, Joe. Well done, Joe. 439. Well done, Joe. 451. This is where the, the fight's won. You know, I think he's got the bit between his teeth for this fight. You know, he believes that Rakimov has nicked his title, really, without having to fight him. So he's going to be up for this fight. That was horrible. Having that mindset of always doing more than what you should. If you're doing that in the gym, constantly, whether it's sparring with the bags, pads, running, it then stands you in good stead in the in the fights. Shafkat Rakimov, he's tough, he's strong, and he's fit, and he can punch hard. I always say you have to have a little bit more than just that to beat me. I'm a little bit better than him in, in all the boxes. I believe I got a very good boxing brain. My ring IQ is second to none. My footwork's a different level. I'm good on the inside. I can fight that close. I can fight going backwards. I can pretty much do it all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect in any way, shape or form. And I'm not a finished article. He has to have a little bit more than just being tough and strong and being able to punch to beat me. Now let your hands go, a little quick burst. Go, Joe, let's go, come on. Good. And again, one more then, one more. Nice. Nice, that's it. Change your level as well. It's good. You know, Joe knows what he's up against. He's a world level fighter and you know it's gonna be a tough fight, but me personally, you know, I think Joe is the best super featherweight in the world and I think he's gonna prove it come April twenty second. He ain't really bringing anything that I've never seen before. I've been around the world. I've boxed 180 times as an amateur, almost 200 times all in all. I'll tell you straight, there's not a man on the planet that I fear. I'll find a way to put you on the deck. At the minute, it's all technical stuff, trying to get fit. It's all about the timing. Yeah. Get the timing right. You know, what, what the arse all these stuff for. Yeah. So the closer we'll get to the fight, the better he'll get. Every now and then, you put in your little quick burst. Pop, 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 like that, right? Yeah. It's called made the most dad, without him, without a shadow without of that. Without me? Him, without a shadow of a doubt. He's aged me by about 10 years, Joe. I was looking all right before all this. Now I've got a trap nerve in my back. <laughs> I've got loads of grey hairs. How am I getting the blame for all this? No, but I wasn't egg up until now, was I? It's the easiest. True. Kevin Mitchell probably calls me the most egg before. before it's a fucking pain in the arse, he was. You better be, because I don't want no excuses once um, I get him out of there. Look, ready, I'm ready. How do you win? This is big secret. My coach, he know. 
Rakimov, Eastern European fighter, extremely talented, a very good world champion that's going to take a lot of beating. Great work rate, he doesn't stop. And that's the danger, you know, he'll walk you down, he'll walk you down, he'll try and outwork you. Во всех странах мира ринг одинаковый и одного размера. И это меня ничто не напрягает. Надо выходить, просто боксировать и все. Ему очень будет трудно со мной. Я думающий боксер. Я каждое свое действие, прежде чем что-то сделать, я знаю, что сделать, как мне сделать. И у меня большой-большой опыт в этом. I have been trained with the best general Freddy Roach. I like his aggressiveness. If he's a good puncher, he has power with the left and right hand both. Being at home is good, but sometimes being away is good also because you don't have a lot of pressure on you and. It can work both ways, obviously, but the thing is, the best fighter will win. Не важно, сколько раундов в этот бой продлится, надо держаться одного плана, и мы с командой держались одного плана и довели свой результат до выигрыша, до досрочных побед. А эти планы мы никому не расскажем. Для него и для всех это большой секрет. This is everything. This is the world title. It gets no bigger than this, and you're just in our way. Потому что результат боя не будет зависеть от решения судьи. I got some staples in there, and then I've got my plate with five screws in it. I just call it Terminator hand. I'm a great believer in God, and things happen for a reason. It's brought it back to Cardiff, and me able to fight in front of my supporters, my family, my friends. After the ups of, of the Agawa victory and the downs of being stripped, he has a chance to make history as a two-time world champion without ever losing. Two times. And the new super featherweight world champion. Ничего, не говори, оп, пока не перепрыгнешь, ты не прокатишь. You spark out, boy. We are coming to get you. When I land on you, it's gonna hurt. Lock your mouth. I'm coming for you, boy. Get dotted. <laughs>